Well, last Tuesday, Ryan Bamford celebrated day 100 in the chair as UMass's director of athletics. And right now I'm here with Ryan Bamford and Ryan day number 100 last week so far. Three months on campus, three months and change. What have been some of your observations? Well, I'm tremendously excited from the day I took the job. I'm excited to be at UMass. It's a wonderful opportunity to be around a really uh, good young people in our staff. And one of the things that I learned in my first 100 days is the passion that people have for our product, have for our student athletes and the things that they do. And the success that we've had as, uh, as an athletic department, both on the academic side and in our athletic competition over the years and especially this past year. And I'm really proud of that and I've inherited a, a really good uh, department and I'm excited about where we have the opportunity to take this department. We've seen a lot of reorganization among the department staff. What's the goal there? What have you been trying to accomplish with some of the moves? One of the things I've done, uh, I've tried to do is challenge our people to, to be better and make us better every day. Our coaches, our student athletes, and then our administrative staff that I surround myself with. And I had the good fortune, I had a few positions open when I took the job, and so we filled some of those. And uh, I've really looked at the way we're marketing and branding our, our uh, athletic department, and our athletic program. And, the opportunity to manage our brand in a way that uh, will make us visible and planting our flag across the Commonwealth is certainly something that we're interested in doing. So a lot of the appointments that I've made over the last 100 days have been things that I think strategically allow us to be better every day and allow us to give our student athletes and coaches the resources to be successful day in and day out. Now that you've had some time to get the lay of the land here on campus, what are some of the opportunities you see on the horizon? Well, I'm going to tell you, I think that we've got some really nationally competitive programs that it really just need to take maybe the next step um, nationally. And then we've got some that are regionally competitive or competitive in our conference. And every program has a different life cycle. And what we're trying to do is to give them some resources to get to that next step of success. And so I think there's tremendous opportunity for growth for us across our 21 sports. Uh, what I'm trying to do is really build a team and, and build everybody to have some camaraderie and be together as one and to look at things um, as a family and to look at things together, our student athletes and the culture that we create every day that fosters success. One of the major topics in college athletics has been cost of attendance. From your standpoint, where does that fit in for UMass? How has UMass addressed that so far? Well, I'll tell you, I think it's cost of attendance is uh, nationally is a, has been something that we've focused our attention on in my first 100 days. Um, for us, it really allows us to differentiate ourselves uh, from some of our peers to allow us to pay the cost of attendance gap here at UMass, which is approximately $1,600 to student athletes that are on a full scholarship. Um, it's something that the Power Five schools, uh, the autonomous schools have decided they wanted to do. And as, uh, as UMass, as our athletic department, we wanted to follow suit. We, we aspire to be great. And so we want to provide the resources to our student athletes that um, will allow us to recruit the best and the brightest and allow us to compete on the national stage. And we weren't going to be able to do that if we didn't uh, stay in lockstep with some of the Power Five schools uh, in, in, around the nation. So we're very fortunate we're able to do that. We're going to allow, uh, we're going to afford all of our student athletes who have some level of scholarship a piece of that cost of attendance disbursement when they come back here in the fall. Everybody knows this is UMass's final year as the UMass football program in the Mid American Conference. And with the shifting college conference landscape, where does UMass fit in in the next five years? That's a good question. It's one I've been getting often here in my first 100 days. And I can tell you that we're going to make UMass the best athletic department we can uh, over the course of the next year and beyond. And that will allow us, afford us the opportunity to, be in, in, to get ourselves into a conference that makes sense for football and all of our other sports. And it's something that I, that I know our coaches and our student athletes and our staff are all working towards every single day. And I'm gonna tell you, if we take care of business on the home front, we take care of business every day here on the Amherst campus and beyond as we plant our flag across the Commonwealth, we're gonna put ourselves in a position to be, uh, to align with a conference that makes sense for us long term. And I don't know where that'll be exactly, but we're gonna be strategic about it. And we're gonna do everything we can from building our infrastructure internally to allow us to go out externally and develop some of those relationships that get us into the best conference affiliation we can. And right now, to be quite honest with you, Cody, we're, 
We're in a really great conference in the Atlantic 10, the Hockey East, and the CAA for men's lacrosse. And we're going to go through the last year of football in the MAC, and we're excited about what we have for opportunities there. And we'll take that and, and run with it when we become an independent in 2016 and beyond. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll find a nice home for our teams, our sports, uh, in the near future. I know it's hard to believe, but we're less than two weeks away from the first fall sports. August 21st, women's soccer takes the field against Syracuse. So fall sports are coming up. What excites you about your first full academic year here? Well, one of the things, I got here on April 27th, and a week later I went to conference meetings and all, I felt like all of our student athletes left. And we've got some student athletes that have been here through the summer, but I'm really looking forward to getting the full complement, 650 student athletes back on campus. I'm going to address them on Tuesday night, the first week of classes, and talk about culture and talk about being a family and taking care of each other. I'm most excited about getting back and seeing their faces and engaging with them. That's why I'm in this business. That's why all of us are in it, is to be around young people. And I'm excited to see our teams compete. I'm excited to see them day in and day out. Uh, our women's soccer team is here right now practicing. Men's soccer and field hockey show up later this week and football comes in next week. And I'm really excited to, to see them compete um, with each other first and get ready for our seasons. And then uh, from there, have success and build on that success and try to capture any momentum we can into the postseason and, uh, and try to take uh, UMass athletics to the next level.